Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I already recorded the video. The video's already done and made and everything, but as I was editing and getting ready to see what live events are going to be happening or appearing, man, uh, we just got some breaking news. So I already went over the cards in the video, so you guys will see it once the video, you know, begins, but off rip, as you guys can see here, the briefcase rewards are going to be available these briefcase rewards, these four cards that you're going to be able to get, only four cards, will be available until January 1st, next year, 2024, the year 2K24 comes out. And now, I'm not shocked. <laughs> I would rant, but why would I rant? You want to know why I'm not going to rant? Because I literally said this, guys, all right? Yeah, I've been, I've been told you guys, like, I already know the patterns of how my faction works and how like updates come and i've been saying this since the beginning of the diamond tier don't be surprised if diamond tier is a drag i even said in yesterday's video don't be shocked if they drag diamond tier as long as possible that way they can give us bits and pieces of content and then once pink diamond tier comes out we rush out spend all our money on packs and stuff and then the cycle begins again for 2k24 that's why like i'm not a huge pack opener guys like you know i've been said this like look i'll give you guys tips and tricks i'll, I'll tell you guys what i feel about cards and stuff but when it comes to me opening up packs especially for like especially most like this and especially when they're not done correctly i'm not gonna really spend you know money on packs i'm just not gonna do it you know what i'm saying until this mode gets more optimized I feel like PAX is like the least of my worries for this mode. And so, and that's what I'm telling you guys. So hopefully it's a glitch. I don't see, I, I, I can't see this being real. There's no way, there's no, but, but here's the thing. There's no way that this is real, January 1st. I have a feeling that in the coming days that they'll fix it to um, be in October, hopefully. But if it is January 1st, if January 1st is the date that they plan on you know, releasing the pink diamond, I guess, rewards is, I'm assuming that's what it's going to be. Then, uh, that's going to be tough. So hopefully it's a glitch. We will see. We'll find out in the coming days. If not later on today, I'll keep you guys updated on that. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's just how this mode goes. It's a cycle, you know, a yearly 2k game comes out. You play this mode, you open up packs, 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 packs. You know what I'm saying? And then, bam, the next game comes out. You open up packs, 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 packs. And guess what? Every two years, the, you know, the last 2K, the the 2K from two years ago, that those servers go, go down. So you're opening up all these packs yearly just for the servers to go down, which I, which I find is pretty crazy. I feel like they shouldn't do that. I feel like my faction should always stay up especially since you're spending so much money on the mode and stuff. But it's a yearly thing, and that's why, like, there's a whole big thing with packs, all right? Packs are it's such a huge discussion. But anyways, yeah, hopefully January 1st is a glitch. But, hey, it could, it could definitely be true, and I wouldn't be shocked if they drag us till till then. And there's, a st there's still a chance that we can get the Pink Diamond tier earlier than January 1st. And then we're just not going to get a Faction Wars update until then. So that could be it as well. So pretty shocking, pretty surprising. But um, yeah, but before we also get into the video, I also want to go off, go over the live events for this upcoming week. So pretty cool. We'll get a free Danger Zone Series 2 pack with a gold player. <sighs> More pack requirement cards uh, I do not qualify for. So uh, I probably won't be able to get it. And I'm pretty sure... This Carmelo card will definitely give give us a diamond or pink diamond card eventually. So shout out to you guys for that. Oh, I can get the token market card for sure. That, that's easy, but actually the giant card I probably won't be able to get, but we'll see. Another payback pack uh, pay to play event. Another payback play to uh, play to play pay to play event. Oh, I can't talk right now, right? Uh, another one, another payback pay to play event for a diamond. Angelo Dawkins, uh, Roman Reigns, uh, th that should be easy. I should be able to get that card pretty soon. We have 26 days. I'll definitely be able to get that card from just playing. And we have a Seth Rollins card for a free payback pack 
So that shouldn't be too bad. Let's see how far am I from getting that Roman. Okay, I'm, I mean, I should be able to get it done. 26 days, I should be able to get it done. I can try to figure out a way to get that. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for uh, the updates for today. And uh, yeah, no token market. So we're probably not going to see the token market for a while if if they seriously plan on giving us um, Faction Wars rewards till January 1st. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. And um, yeah, um, also one last thing. This is very important. Let me know what you guys think because I know a lot of you guys are about to be mad because <laughs> they are literally going to give us packs and live events until gen until what january 1st uh, or until they give us a token market so it's gonna be i don't know how it's gonna go we'll see i have a feeling it's a glitch there's no way they're gonna make it till january 1st there's no way there's no way but we'll see what happens so let's just go ahead and get into the video and uh thank you guys so much for watching let's get into it yo what's going on guys i'm back with another video and today we have the new payback packs here in my faction and we also have the faction wars rewards and possibly some live events so we're gonna be going over all that today make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new we post all of my faction content that you need and also all the gaming content that you need because the gaming season is here and we have a lot of cool stuff happening all right guys so well for ado, let's just get right into the video all right so I'm on the Xbox account again. Reason being, there's nothing much right now that I actually look like. Look at this. Look at this. This is the first time we've seen this. So I feel like yesterday, after yesterday's video, when they went over all the live event type of stuff, I think it all is going to start popping up today. I think we're going to see some new stuff pop up today once the, you know, updates, you know, the daily updates reveal. So I, I, I'm going to wait to post this video because I'm already posting this video an hour early. So... I'm sure we're going to get some new live events once it gets updated and everything. So we're going to go over the uh, Faction Wars rewards last. Reason being, this is actually the first time I've done this in a minute. I actually looked at these packs already. I looked at some of these packs already, all right? The prices aren't that bad once, once you see them, you know? You're like, oh, wow, it's not that bad. But then once you, you know, look at everything that's included, you see why, okay? So, yeah, I mean... If you're going to want a diamond card, you're going to have to open up a couple packs, you know, or get lucky. But one thing I will say, though, surprisingly, from what I'm seeing here, I'm, I'm, I have not looked at any of the Amethyst cards, but it seems like these Amethyst cards might be better than these diamond cards. All right. This T-Bar. All right. This T-Bar card. I'm telling you guys this now. This card right here, his animations are so insane that you're going to have a lot of fun with him. All right, yeah, his badges aren't all that, but his, his he's such a fun card to use. So I highly recommend if you guys get this card, hey, use it. Use it just for like a weekly towers or something. Have fun with it, you know? And obviously the Boogeyman. Boogeyman is also another great card. I definitely love his moveset. And he actually has pretty okay badges too. So definitely use this card, you know? So there's a cool couple cards in here that, you know, I highly would recommend. But, yeah, you're going to be opening up a ton of packs if you guys want to try and, you know, hopefully get lucky with these diamond cards, right? So, we're going to go ahead and just take a look at these diamond cards. Then, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Faction Wars rewards. And then, we'll end the video off unless there's going to be something new with the live events, which I'm assuming there are. So, yeah, so all for the do, let's just go ahead and take a look at Montez Ford, 91 overall. Still on the lower end. We're still getting lower end diamond cards, which also has me thinking that, yeah, the, the diamond tier is going to be a little bit longer um, before we get into pink diamond tier. But, you know, as you guys can see, 84 arm power, leg power, 90, running offense, 90, arrow range is 90, 95 arrow offense and stuff. Pretty cool card. I mean, obviously, it's a cool card, but badge wise, you know, it's nothing too crazy, you know. And the reason why I say this is because. I know a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys, and same here, obviously, for this type of mode, badges do matter a lot, and so, um, I know a lot of you guys, when you guys see these badges, you're like, oh yeah, he's not going to make my team, I don't really care for this card, but there's also a lot of you guys that open up every single packs and try to get every single card in the game, so, that's really cool, man, so here we go, Alexa Bliss as well, 
82 arm power, leg power, 60. Uh, let's see, aerial range, 98. That's really good, actually. Finisher, 93. Pin escape, 82. Okay. But like you guys can see here, badge-wise, it's nothing too crazy. Like, we already got the collection rewards, uh, the Rhea Ripley card, the live event China, the Becky Lynch. Like, there's already free cards that you guys can get in the game right now that are already better than these cards so far that we already looked at so that's why i'm just like oh these packs are all right i mean these were these weren't the best packs i'm not gonna lie ronda rousey you know technical technical submission offense 95 strike reversal oh wait wait strike reversal 80 uh body durability 80 that's pretty good pretty good defensive card uh 90 finisher and Sting like a bee on silver with the little blue thing around. And then we also have a gold space invader, which is cool. But, and gold slippery eel, which is cool. But, um, yeah, like, it's just, it's nothing that is going to blow us away when it comes to cards, you know. Um, wait a minute. I just realized something. Is Bobby Lashley live now? I have to see. I think he is. Oh, hey, I, I have to check that. I have to check because I don't think I took a look at his stats. Uh, arm power uh, for Kevin Owens 80 86 leg power and grappling reversal 80 86 body durability pretty cool yeah so these these packs are whatevs I I personally like I said I'm thinking about just saving till pink diamond tier these there's 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 really no point in me opening up these packs really there's really no point but I know some of you guys will be opening up these packs so go ahead and do it let me know what you guys get and obviously Tag me on Twitter of your newest pool, and I'll include you in the video for my upcoming videos. All right, guys. So uh, that's going to be really cool. All right. Now, let me just check something real quick, because if I'm not mistaken, is Bobby Lashley live? He is. We can finally look at his stats, and let's see if he's good. Let's. I want to check out his badges. Bobby Lashley from 2K22 was pretty insane, so this car could be just as insane. Arm power 91. Leg power 81, okay. Body durability 86. Strike reversal 85, okay. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Off rip, obviously he's not as good as his, you know, 2K22 diamond card. But that's the, that's obvious, you know, because we also have a pink diamond tier coming up. So obviously diamond cards aren't going to be absolutely insane. But um, we can still see his badges though. 91 strength. Uh, pin escape 81, that's all right. Finisher 91. And badges, hey, that's not bad. It's, it's not the best. It's definitely not as good as 2K22. But, hey, this will definitely get... This is all you pretty much need. Sting like a B, Space Invader, you'll be pretty much good. This is a good card to get, though. And his animations are off-rip already insane, too. So, this is a great card, man. Highly recommend it. If you guys qualify for the live event, go ahead and get it. And, um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at these payback collection rewards as well so austin theory 90 arm power a6 leg power great defense this is an insanely good defensive card 97 finisher man this is actually a really good card um badge wise is pretty good as well badge wise is pretty good nothing too crazy but it's pretty good uh andre the giant you guys already know this card andre the giant's cards are always the best His arm power is obviously going to be off the roof Great grapple offense, body durability insane, strength, pin escape. My, my goodness, this card is nice. Movement speed, 43. And uh, let's see. He Oh, I was about to say, he doesn't have seem like a B? Okay, so he does. So, yeah, really cool gun. Uh, really cool. <laughs> I was about to say gun like it's Mom Warfare. I'm, I'm always talking about Call of Duty, so then it's like I always get it mixed up. <laughs> but anyways, really nice card, really cool. Um, let me know if you guys got any of those collection level reward cards. I definitely want to know that. And also, while we're here, let's go ahead and take a look at the Faction Wars reward. The Faction Wars rewards, we have Ludwig Kaiser, Luke Gallows, Maurice, and Holly, Molly Holly. <laughs> and uh, we got a good, good set of cards here, as you guys can see here. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at them all right here. So, uh, so we did get a diamond card, which is shocking. Well, not shocking at the same time. I I kind of expected us to get another set of Amethyst rewards, but they are giving us 
diamond cards. So, hey, I did say that that was going to be the option that they were going to do. So, they ended up doing it. And so, we got an arm power at 80, leg power at 90. Really cool. Aerial range, 90. Grappling reversal, 80. 85 dur body durability, leg durability, 85. Really cool. Pit escape, 74. Okay. And a pretty good set of badges. Uh, seemed like a B on silver, though. It's kind of crazy. But um, still pretty cool. Still a pretty cool card. Uh, Luke Gallows, 83. Arm power, leg power, 83. Body durability, 83. Pretty cool as well. 88 finisher. And gold seemed like a B. Really cool. I mean, look. These cards right here are free. All you got to do is just play the game, and you can get these cards. And they're pretty much on the same level as these payback packs. So, Honestly, I would go for these cards. I'm def obviously you guys will be going for them. I'm gonna be going for them as well. So this is pretty cool, you know. Like, hey, I I'll, I'll take these over the payback packs any day of the week. <laughs> so let's see, Maurice arm power 84. Let's see, body durability 80. Pretty cool, 90. Okay, so yeah, it's a pretty cool card again. Molly Holly, I like her moveset. Her moveset's pretty cool. Um, Stats are kind of on the lower end. Dang, Penisky is pretty low, 276. I mean, that's not bad. But also, Sting like a B on gold, not bad as well. So it was really cool. So, hey, good set of content for today. Nothing too, too crazy. But like I said, I will go ahead and wait ahead until the live events do refresh, and we'll see what we get. Hopefully, we get something cool. Hopefully, it's not a pack requirement. Hopefully it's something just something just simple and cool for us to go for. And uh, even if it's a challenge, like I don't care what challenge it can be. Just let let's just let everyone be able to go for it, you know? <laughs> but if this is the end of the video, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. We have a ton of cool content coming your way, guys. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm signing out. Peace.